So War Archives is one of those things I don't talk about too much in my videos. Uh, but now that we have like probably, I don't know, what is this, like 12, including SP uh, War Archives. It's about time to make a priority video, guys, on what to farm here, especially for newer players that are lacking some of the older resources that some of the older player has older players have gotten. Let's talk about the War Archives. So going down the list, I'm going to talk about the importance of these maps and what you can get from them so bear with me some maps are pretty good some maps are not that good that's what the point of this video is about all right so let's talk about visitors died in rest so i i don't know why but they don't make it so like if you clear them already they show you like uh all the maps and whatnot so you gotta clear them again uh but let's go back to a uh, visitors died in rest so this event this map right here they give you a little preview of like what's to come so zuikaku drops here you can also farm repus which are okay fighters they're not the best by far, but they're not bad either. And then you have Ryusei's, uh, one of the best torpedo bombers for a bossing in the game. So it's not a terrible place to farm. I will say the D3 map is very, very outdated. It's kind of annoying to farm actually. So it's up to you guys if you want to do that. Uh, Zui Kaku herself is okay. She works best with her sister Zui, uh, uh, Shokaku. But nowadays, if you're running like full IJM fleets, if you have like Haku Ryu and Shinano, they're way better to fit in. But if you don't have a, a strong heavy um, uh, air, aircraft carrier for IJN that you want to run, you show Kaku is we Kaku and that works okay. And then if you're missing some kind of bossing torpedo bombers, honestly, I would say by the time you get to content that's relevant for these kind of bombers, uh, there are better options out there, especially like uh, junkers that you can make from Gear Labs. And then. I'm better off making junkers if I were you guys, and you'll probably have more torpedo bombers by then. So you really don't need converging torpedo bombers until like you're in like the mid upper stages of content where bossing is actually really really relevant to the point where you have to use these. So I would adv advise not farming these if you're a newer player. Uh, skip this uh, banner entirely unless you want to get sh a sh Zuikaku for collection, then by all means go for it. You can also get into the perma pool, but it's up to you guys. Next one is Winter's Crown. So the priority ship here is going to be the front one right here, Duke of York. So if you guys don't have her, I advise getting her. She's one of the very, very best battleships in the game as of right now. A extremely, extremely good buffer. Herself entirely is not that great in terms of modern day battleships in terms of damage. But what she offers to an entire fleet is really, really good for her damage buff. So getting her is good. Mandatory. Um, the other things here, like the gear and the other ships, they're not that important. The most important thing about Winter's Crown here is Duke of York. So if you guys cannot get her in the perma pool in the heavy banner, which she is there, definitely go ahead and farm for her. It is very, very good to have her. Next one is Fallen's Wings. So Fallen Wings right here. North Carolina is the farmable ship here. An okay battleship, not like the best at like pretty much anything. She has pretty high anti-air. So I guess if you want to run her in like World 12 or whatever, that's fine. But I would rather just run full carriers if you're struggling with anti-air. It's much better there. As for farmable equipment, Steam Catapults is good here. I think 127 is DD, but there are better options out there. Especially uh, because the French banner, or French rerun banner, is in the War Archives. It's it's nothing entirely special to farm this map. So North Carolina, if you guys don't have her, you can farm for her there. As for gear, nothing important. Steam catapults you can get from like gear boxes and like research, so it's not that mandatory to farm fallen wings. Next, divergent chessboard. So divergent chessboard here is a good place to get some KMS fleet tech. You can get a lot of KMS ships here. So if you guys are missing the fleet tech for like researching for like PR ships. For uh, KMS, you can definitely do so. Uh, farming uh, the map for uh, uh, what was it? Divergent chessboard. So it's a good map for farming uh, those drops. Uh, I think her name is Z46. Yeah, Z46 drops here too. Not the best DD. Not the best DD. So there's that. I believe uh, Prince uh, Prince uh, Ogan also drops from D3 here as well too. It's a weird map. I think it's one of the rare maps that has like D4 for some reason, but yeah. So if you guys want those drops, by all means, go for it. I think, uh, well, not this, but oh my god, please go back. It also drops at least quads. Quads are pretty nice too. So if you guys want quads, if you don't get them from like Gearbox or whatever, 
can farm for it. But overall, you would really want to farm that Virgin Chessboard is to get the KMS ship drops. There's a lot of KMS girls here to farm for fleet tech, so that's mainly the main reason as to why you want to farm uh, Divergent Chessboard. So that's that. Now, Iris, Light, and Dark. This is probably the best one to farm here because not for the ship drop. The, the trumpet girl, whatever. Uh, the single 138s, the baguette guns. These are very, very good. Best in slot. One of the best DD guns in the game as of right now. You can never have enough of these guys, trust me. Farm this place until you have, like, I don't know, maybe 20. <laughs> if, you, if you guys want to go for 20, go for it. Otherwise, farm until you're satisfied with this and then work other maps. But I say in terms of the biggest priority maps in this game... This is definitely top two. I say the other top one is probably going to be Duke of York, but this right here, high, high priority. Iris and Light of Dark. This gun right here, very, very good. This gun right here is for uh, John. If you guys want to farm for it, go for it, but it's not like the best, best, best. Not to mention she's fallen off recently compared to most battleships, so it's not that important. The, make, the big takeaway here is the DD gun, so make sure you get that. Now, Ink Stain Steel Sakura. Um, this map here drops Kawakazi, not the best DD. Uh, drops Congo as well, too. Half HMS, half IJN. <laughs> uh, but, anyways, uh, it drops Steam Catapults. Nothing crazy about this map. You can entirely skip it. It's basically like Fallen Wings. You can skip it. There's nothing much about this map aside from farmables, uh, farmable ships. If you guys don't have them, far from them. Otherwise, just skip. Now, Crimson Echoes, the BB uh, Kaga drops here. Not a great battleship, but whatever. Um, in terms of drops, garbage. Just skip this entirely. As for the Bismarck Vents, uh, KGV. I wouldn't say it's the best battleship, but no, by no means is she the worst battleship. She has an okay kit. Now, there's much, much better battleships out there nowadays, but by no means is it like the worst, worst one in the game. You can de definitely use her. But overall, this map is not mandatory for farming. There's nothing like spectacular about this map. There's no like important gear from this map. I don't recall. I can double check right here, but I don't recall this map, this map having like any like spectacular gear drops. Um, yeah, it's like Bofors and uh, that's pretty much it. Bofors. Yeah, it's not a well. There's gold barracudas in uh, C3, so if you guys want that, it's okay. But if you're farming C3, you're not farming any good maps, so I would skip that. There's better priority ships out there, like better priorities to focus on, like the DD gun and Duke of York. Skip this entirely, unless you guys really want like KGV or like Roy, um, the Barracudas from C3. Now, Imperial Tragic Comedy. Uh, oops, my, oh my god, I, I keep clicking that, my bad. Uh, Latorio drops here. Not the best battleship, but it's. Yeah, not the best battleship. <laughs> not the best battleship. Uh, this gun right here. Now, this is interesting. I think this is, a, this is a heavy cruiser gun right here. Now, I think this gun was like, all right. It's by no means a top tier heavy cruiser gun. It's like, it's usable, but definitely it's not a priority for farming. Uh, the ship herself, Latorio, isn't amazing. And then the gun here is like, kind of whatever. You can skip this if you guys want. I, I think it's okay on the... I think it's okay on the um like the other like the Italian heavy cruisers, but I I don't think it was that important. I never I never recall this gun being like super fantastic, so you guys can skip skip this one. It's not a big priority. I say it's like a mid priority event to farm. It's not like absolutely enormous though. And as for SP events, oh my lord. Okay, so the first ever SP event, uh, we get Prince of Wales and this other stuff here. If you guys don't have them by now. Just get them from like, I don't know, Metal Exchange or something. This map is awful. Um, don't farm Strive, Wish, and Strategy. That is awful. Now, the Pursuit of Graspy uh, Quads here are pretty cool. But that's pretty much it. Um, nothing spectacular about farming this map. So just skip it entirely. Now, Glorious. Uh, if you guys don't have Glorious, she has amazing L2D. Definitely, I would advise getting that if you want the L2D. I don't know if it's on sale anymore, but if it is, go ahead and grab it. Otherwise, it's waiting until like like black friday or summer sale or something and then you have barracudas now barracudas are cool and all but there's better options out there nowadays like from gear research not to mention you can get them from multiple ways as well like research and uh, hms gold boxes so it's not a priority map to farm and as for 
Passionate uh, Polaris. Now this is a idle event right here. The gun here is like the JB gun. Nothing spectacular about this gun. But you can farm gear skins here. Um, I think this is like the only map that's permanent as of right now where you can farm gear skins. So if you guys want gear skins, definitely go ahead and farm for them. There's no farmable ships here for idle ships. So they're on the permanent pool. So uh, gear skins. This is why you want to farm this map. So if you guys are loving gear skins, I say if you're done with like the Iris event for the DD guns and Duke of York, if you guys really want to use your War Archive, War Archive tickets or something, Definitely farm for the gear skin boxes because they are always available. It's just you get like four tickets a day, I think. So it's not bad. It's not bad. And as for uh, Moonlit Overture, nothing crazy about this map. Um, I believe the ship here, Astoria, is added in the core data shop. So you can skip that. And then you have this gun right here, which is like spectacular. So the most important events are from these war archives are going to be the winter's crown for duke of york once you get her uh iris and light of dark the dd guns are very very good here everything else isn't a mandatory farming unless you really want like dd ships then you can farm a divergent chessboard for dd ships or fleet tech and then once you're done with all of that you can go ahead and farm polaris for gear skin boxes that's basically tldr now there's other nitpicky uh stuff to farm in these events as well too but for the most part these four maps are what i would put my main focus on everything else you can just grab them like later on or they're not like super super important so uh that's it for this video hope you guys enjoy and i'll see you guys in the next video as always